Do you feel that people might have tried Shy Glizzy more when you weren't around? 100%. Because it's like if the muscle talking about him, he might not really be like that. Let's see. Let's try it. Let's at least try it. And it was successful. Shock Lizzie never had a problem when I was around her, ever. We done been everywhere. We done been, a, man, we done been in the, we done been in the studios with AR Ab and the gangsters guys in Philly. We done been in Atlanta with the gangsters in Atlanta. I'm talking about every city we with the toughest of the toughest in it. And he all right, got his jury on and all that. Just me and him. But mm. you can't, you can't, like you can't do, you can't duplicate this shit though. You can try, but it ain't gonna work. It ain't even that. It ain't even the safety part failed. The music failed. Everything failed. The whole image failed. The whole that shit disappeared with me. It's like people keep thinking it's shy Glizzy. Y'all never thought it might have been Ang Glizzy that made Glizzy Gang. Cause I'm gonna give you a scenario. I started rapping. All right. I was in Glizzy Gang. I left Glizzy Gang. I'm still bigger than everybody in Glizzy Gang. More relevant than everybody in Glizzy Gang. I took my Glizzy Gang buzz with me. Nobody can leave Glizzy Gang and take their buzz with them because they don't have a buzz. Shaq can't even live. Shaq don't even have a relevancy right now. I started rapping. I became the biggest rapper in my city. I quit rapping. I became a YouTuber. I became the biggest person on YouTube. I, I started being an Instagrammer at first. Before the YouTube shit, I was the biggest person on Instagram in my city. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Lives doing 15,000 and shit. It's like everywhere I go, the buzz go. Glizzy Gang never have a buzz anymore. If I go back to Glizzy Gang, it would be rebuzzing again. So am I the person i think it's all my wave i think it's my way to be honest i think it's me but it sound crazy but if you look at it statistically it might be it might be me and might not even be shot mm. came from you not shy okay because he can't he don't he he like he can't turn himself up right now i got myself lit Wherever you go, whatever platform, wherever you pick me, I'm going to turn. It's no way me and Sha should be able to sit down on DJ Academics and I get more views than him. How? He got Beyonce came out to his songs. He been around Jay-Z. He done been around. He did everything you could do in the world. I just left my mother couch. You feel what I'm saying? If I would have did, if I had Beyonce dancing my songs and all these records, the extra that he got on top of this, I'd be the biggest person out right now. I'd probably be the biggest of the biggest. Well, I kind of seen you touch on this big topic that's been going on, man. You know, Big Baby's been going viral a lot. You know, I know you Cry guys said you're... What happened? Call him Cry Baby. I, I know you guys had your uh, your differences, you know, not too long ago, man. You know, what did you think when you seen, you know, the whole, you know, him going off and all the back and forth and everything that's been going on? His coke plug probably ain't answering the phone for him. He was a little bit depressed, upset. He ain't get it fast enough, and he just wanted to take it out somebody on set. Cause like on six so cut, he ain't about really we keep talking about cut. He don't get it cracking for real cut. He ain't on nothing. Brick baby's in person. Brick baby done talked about seventeen private parts since the last time I interviewed with you. Like Brick baby lost his respect. His cold his streets is more. He didn't been DP by every crip on the West Coast. He just don't show up. He seemed pretty passionate, man. You know when he was get when he was going off. Wolf tickets. That's Adam, little slave though. Him and Adam, man. Him and Adam got some, man. I'm just telling you. Him and Adam is more than friends. Let's just say Brick Baby is employee of the month. Now, you know I know at one point you were you you got invited up there to No Jumper and you didn't want to go. I don't see no sense in it. It ain't make sense. And they didn't offer me any money. It was for free. I wasn't doing it for free. It was for a free plane ride and publicity. I don't live off free plane rides and publicity. Mm. They didn't offer you no money? Oh, okay. Not a dollar. Only people play fair. No. Only people play fair with me is academics and say cheese. Cause I think they also understand that I'm a guy from the struggle and my mother's still from the struggle. So they, they don't do it like as business. They do it more so as they want to help me win. Like they want to see me win. They want me to feel appreciated type shit. So that's why I respect them. That's why, that's why I, I cherish their platforms type shit. You knew Brick Baby or you guys met at one point? I know him personally. We used to hang out like back in the day, but, but like mutual friends through Shaq Lizzie. Okay. And were you guys cool back then or? 
Yeah, we, I told you mutual friends. I would say, any if Shock Lizzie friends, them shy friends, I ain't gonna say I'm gonna be cool with them, but I'm cordial with them. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not like I ain't gonna make them feel uncomfortable. The person that I'm here to make comfortable got to be comfortable, so I make his friends feel the same. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't, we ain't gonna not be friends. We communicate, we talk, we cool while we're in Atlanta, but I don't hang with them. Like while I'm outside of Atlanta, I don't hang with them. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.